everybody, my name is Miss Pam and I'm from Building Blocks Child Development Center here in Spencer, West Virginia. And I have a book and a game to make with you. Our book today is called Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. I don't know, Duck on a Bike. Let's see what happens. One day down the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly, and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Duck, make sure I didn't lose, miss a page there. Nope. Duck rode past Cal and waved at her. Hello, Cal, said Duck. Moo, said Cal. But what she thought was, a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. Bye, said Sheep. What she thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. It doesn't look like he's going where he looks where he's looking where he's going. Duck was riding better now, and he rode past Dog. Hello, dog, said Duck. Woof, said the dog. But what he thought was, that is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. It's like she's too busy giving herself a bath and laying in the sun. And look at Duck, riding on. Duck pedaled a little faster, and he rode past Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. Nay, said Horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Duck rang his bell as he rode past Chicken. Hello, Chicken, said Duck. Clock, clock, said Chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, Duck. Then Duck rode past Goat. Hello, Goat, said Duck. Ma, said Goat. But I, what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Hmm. Yummy, yummy. I don't know about eating a bicycle, though. Duck rode pa on the seat and rode past Pig and Pig. Hello, Pig, said Duck. Oink, said Pig and Pig. But what they thought was, Duck is such a show-off. Look at that, he's standing on one foot on the seat. My goodness. Then Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. And they parked their bikes right by the house and went inside. Oh boy. All the animals. Look, there's pig and pig and goat and dog and horse and cow and cat and sheep and chicken and Mouse looking at those bikes. What do you think they're going to do? And I hope Goat doesn't eat it. I don't know. If I, I've never seen a duck ride a bike, but I really don't know that a horse could fit on a bike. They're, they're pretty large animals. A Mouse? Mouse is a very small animal. Do you think he can ride a bike too? find out what happens. Ah! Now all the animals had bikes and they rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. Oh, look at Goat. He's eating the basket. And, and look at there. Mouse is riding with Duck. And Chicken's got a tricycle. And she 
he's on a bike, and pigs are on a, it's called a tandem bike, where two can ride the same bike. And look at cow and horse, they're all on bikes. Oh, and dog and cat, they look like they're having fun. Then they put the bikes back by the house, and no one knew that on that afternoon, there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The end. Now that is a funny book. Can you imagine going somewhere and seeing a horse on a bicycle? or a cow, or a duck, blows my mind. Never thought about that. Hey, maybe that's why my bicycle wasn't where I left it. I thought I left it in front of the house. But when I came back, it was behind the house. My neighbor has ducks, and my mom has chickens. I wonder if they were on my bicycle. I'll never know. All right, now we have a game to play with some ducks, a whole bunch of ducks. We're not going to use all these ducks because that's a lot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a game with some ducks. Okay. So what we're going to do is I have these little cards, and these little cards have shapes on them. Okay, like we have a rectangle, and a heart, and a circle, and a pentagon, and we have a square, a triangle, and a pentagon. There we go. So we have all these shapes and we are going to make a game. So what I have is I have, oh, and I just dropped them. Hold on one second. So what I have is I have some address labels. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our marker and we're going to draw the shape. All right, so here we have a purple hexagon. Now, a hexagon has eight sides. Octagon, I said hexagon, octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not a real good hexagon or octagon. So we're going to color it in. And there is our purple octagon. It's not a great octagon. Octagons are kind of hard to draw. Look at more and more like a circle. They're going to keep it up and we'll have a purple circle. There's our purple octagon. Okay, then we have a blue rectangle. We're going to draw a blue rectangle right here. I'm going to color it all in. Then what do we have next? Red heart. So red heart. And if you need help drawing the shapes, your adult can help you. They can help you make your game. A game that you can make all on your own. And then what do we have here? A blue circle.
proudly shuffle, color it all in. Then we have a yellow pentagon. Pentagon has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. And there's our yellow pentagon. Then we have purple square. Color it in. I think I'm about ready for a new set of markers. And we have a purple triangle. I'm going to draw it right down here. Purple triangle. This is a little bit of art project and a little bit of a game, right? So we'll put our markers away and stuff so we have room to play our game. Remember, if you make a mess, you have to clean it up. I'm going to take my scissors here. Thumb goes in the little hole. Fingers go in the big, big hole. Okay? Scissors up. Thumbs are always on top. Okay? If you cut like this, it's kind of hard. You kind of have to hold your paper sideways like that. Okay, so we are going to turn our scissors up so thumbs are on the top, fingers are on the bottom. All right, and we are going to cut, squeeze, open, push your scissors through your paper, squeeze, open, push, squeeze, open, push. All right, and there we have some stickers we made stickers so what we're going to do is we're going to take our sticker and we're going to put it on the bottom of our duck over there that is the purple hexagon it's not a great hexagon miss pam needs hexagon training okay here's our heart put it on the bottom of the duck Here's our pentagon. And we'll put it on the bottom of the duck. Okay. Here's our triangle. And let's see. Now our tri our, our rectangle we might have to cut him down just a little bit because his sticker might be a little bit too big for our paper. So I'm going to cut it down, or our, for our duck. Sorry about that. So we're going to cut him down just a little bit. So he has room to fit on the bottom of our duck. So there's our blue rectangle. And our blue circle. And last one is our purple square. And there he goes. Alright, so now we gotta take our cards. And these are just stickers that I stuck on some um, red construction paper. And I have a bigger set of these, but we're just gonna use a few of them right now. Alright, so here's our ducks. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ducks. All right, so we're going to take our paper and we're going to turn them upside down and we'll flip one over. And what is that? It's our yellow. Pentagon. Now, what duck is the yellow pentagon? Do you know? Hmm. Let's check the first duck. Nope. 
That's that wobbly purple octagon. Not that one. Um, the second deck. Think we should check that one, or should we check that one? Hmm. Let's check this one. Nope. Purple square. What about this one? Oh, that's the blue rectangle. This one. Red heart. This one. Hey, we found a match. There is our yellow pentagon. All right, so we can take him out. Our next shape is going to be the purple square. Now that, I don't think we've seen the purple square, have we? Because that is a purple octagon, so we know it's not there. And this one is a purple square. We did see it. There it is. All right, we can take him out. All right, our next shape is purple triangle um let's start this one this is fun hey we got it on the first try look at that we found our purple triangle all right let's turn this one over blue rectangle and we have four ducks left wonder which one it is Mm, this one? Nope, blue circle. Um, this one? Red heart. I think it's this one. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, there it is. It's the blue rectangle. We found it. All right, our next shape is blue circle blue circle that one I'm pretty sure is still the purple octagon let's take a peek was it purple was it an octagon yes all right this one or this one I'll pick this one no nope. red heart that means this one has to be the blue circle, because we only have three decks left. This one's the octagon, this one's the heart, so this one has to be the blue circle. Ready? Yes, it's the blue circle. All right, our next shape is the purple octagon. We remember where that one is, right? It's this one, Are we right? Yep. There it is, it's the purple octagon. And that means our last duck and our last card are a match. Do you think they are? Let's see. We'll do the duck first, because we remember him. He's the red heart. Are we ready to see what our card is? It's the red heart. And there you go, we found all of our matches on our ducks so now you can make this game at home uh, miss pam i don't have any ducks well you really don't have to have ducks you can use anything that you want maybe you want to use your matchbox cars and put stickers on the bottom of them you could do that or maybe you want to use your my little ponies and put stickers on their bellies you can use anything you want to. Have mom or dad or your adult, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, help you make some stickers. And they're just the shipping labels that I got at Walmart um, or dollar store or something like that. And draw your shapes on them. And then stick them to the bottom of your, whatever you're gonna use. Your ducks or your cars or your ponies. And you don't even have to use shapes. You could use your ABCs, you could use your numbers, and you could make all kinds of games. You could even draw red flower and a yellow flower and a blue flower and a green flower and an orange flower, and then put flowers on the bottoms of them, and then find the right color flower. 
anything that you want. You can make a game, a learning game, out of just about anything. And these, these are bath toys, little ducks. So, but that was fun. All right, well, um, that was it for me today. Uh, I hope you had fun, and I hope you learned something about your shapes and some colors and counting some ducks. And maybe I'll have to find, figure out the mystery of why my bicycle was not where I left it. I think the ducks might be after my bike. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.